Hello, this is Ricardo, and I'm playing Elite Dangerous 2.3. Now, there's been an awful lot of talk about passenger missions and passenger ships, and the amount of money that's there to be made doing passenger missions. And although my Imperial Cutter, the Badger's Lust, is more than adequate for doing this sort of thing, I thought I'd take a look at the passenger ships, and look at the passenger ships in anger within the game, and not just the beta. So here I am, I've, I've docked the Badger's Lust, my Imperial Cutter at Louis Terminal, where I have it on good authority. They have ships of the Dolphin, the Orca, and the Beluga. Now, I've gone for a Dolphin on this occasion, and I think it's time we go to the outfit in section and go through and start kitting it out so I can use it in anger. Now, it's not heavily armed to start off with, two pulse lasers, but uh, we'll soon change that. We'll put some beam lasers on it. There you go, gimbaled beam laser, we don't need that module, let's get rid of those, let's just upgrade the guns on it. Not that you're ever really going to use the guns on one of these things, because if you get pulled out of frame shift, hyperspace, whatever you want to call it, then you're going to do a big runner. But hey, it doesn't hurt to have some beam lasers knocking around, because um, we're going to upgrade the power systems to accommodate this anyway. So that's that done. Look at the power plant. So it comes with a 4E. I'm sure we can do better than that. This is a high-tech space station anyway. So there's a 4A power plant at 1.5 million, give or take. We're going to sell the old one off as well. So there you go. Immediately we go up to uh, a maximum of 15.6. Look at the thrusters. See, thrusters are a bit of an arm and a leg, you know. Um, do we really need them? 5B. Ah, that's not bad. 5A, let's have those anyway. Come on, why not? Let's live a little. Let's kit this thing up. Let's look at the frame shift drive. So currently our jump range is uh, 10.89. We go to a frame shift drive of 4A. That immediately goes to a maximum range unladen of 23.44 with our current loadout. Life support is 4E. Gives us the standard five minutes. 4A gives you 25, I suppose. If you're out in the black, that would give you enough time, if you were attacked, to go and try and find some sort of refuge. The power distributor as well. Look at that. You can just sell that one. And for 153,000, you've got an A-class rater. Same with the sensors as well. Let's upgrade those. So we're doing all right now at the moment for power allocation. So look at the alloys. Don't really want to do anything with that reinforced alloys. I mean, you know, we're going to take a pounding, no doubt. There's going to be a pounding happening. Um, but hopefully our shields will be strong enough to, um, to compensate for that. So I'm not going to bother with any of the upgraded bulkheads. Not only will it cost me heavily on mass, but also it'll reduce my jump range. And these things are all about jump range. So we've got a 16 fuel tank. Well, you know, it is what it is. We'll get a fuel scoop and you can put additional fuel tanks on the ship as optional extras anyway, at the expense of some more passenger cabins. So into the utility mounts. So a chaff launcher, always good to um, ward off people with their gimbaled lasers and self-tracking lasers. Don't really want a manifest scanner. So, chaff launcher. Let's click on that. We'll have that. Buy it. Yes, there you go. And there it is. So, continuing into the utility mounts now. Point defense, always good for showing off those um, missile maneuvering tactics. That will automatically go out and shoot those missiles. We'll have some of that. And I think some shield boosters as well. I've got to keep an eye, though, on the amount of power I'm going to be using. So that's all right. We've got an A-grade shield booster, point defense, and a chaff launcher. 
and there are those items. So optional internals, this is where we get to install some additional cabins. Now we've got quite a bit of cargo space there as well. I suppose when doing passenger missions, you do need some cargo space. So let's take a look now and look at the shield generator. Let's see what we do to sell that. Um, look at the economy class passenger cabin. Sell that, we don't want that. Let's see what else, an upgraded one we can buy. So there's the passenger cabins over there. Let's look at that compartment. Let's look for, look for some look for some shields. So okay, four E shield gem. Maybe we'll just buy that one back. Let's browse the shop. Shield gem is what's the options? 4A, there you go. Why not? That does take us dangerously close, I think, um, to our limit. But then again, I don't expect there to be much more power drainage. And we can use some of the utility mounts if we do. So our empty internal compartment, we can put a passenger cabin in. Let's scroll down. Nice business cast cabin. Yeah, 90 grand. Let's, well, let's have that. Of course, any passenger missions that will um, that need business cast and below can be put into that cabin. Although you can't put people who require a more greater state of luxury in a business class cabin, especially if they're looking for first class or luxury. So I think I'm going to buy some additional cabins as well and put them into storage. You never know when you might need one. Let's buy that option. Yeah, sell your module. Store it. Yeah, let's put that into storage. So we've got a cargo rack there. Yeah, got our shields. So far, so good. So we're going to sell that cargo rack. We've got some of those in storage anyway. And seeing about fitting a decent cabin. You know, we can get a, a business class cabin there as well. Now I thought I'd buy some economy class cabins. You never know when you might need them. Um, if you're doing a dodgy mission, if that's all they need, you could put them in there. No real need. I think I'll probably sell them later. But it's best to be prepared, I think. I'm sure there's some of you there who will argue with me on that. So I think some of the things that we're also lacking here as well is going to be um, a fuel scoop. We're going to need a fuel scoop in addition to the cabins that we're buying. Especially if we're going to go out, we're going to need um, a decent scanner as well, other than, the addition, other than the basic scanner that comes with the ship. So an advanced scanner coming in at 1.5 million. Let's sell the old one, I suppose. Upgrade that to a capacity four cargo rack. And there we have it. That's what we've got so far. That's not bad. I mean, we can um, up the economy class to business class. We've got those in storage. We're going to need a fuel scoop. The biggest one we can get at the moment was a two. I don't think that's going to be enough. So I think it might be worthwhile us moving some of those modules around. Put a fuel scoop in there in the, the three star module. Might be the better way of doing it. So now we've got a three fuel scoop, a 3A fuel scoop. So we're gonna browse the shop, we're gonna do some, some transfer options, we're gonna swap some stuff around. 
make the best use of the space. And then I think it's time to take it out for a spin. And now it's on to the fun part, the livery. So weapon detailing, I've got lovely magenta or pink or green weapons. We're going to go for green. Let's look at the decals we can put on to the front decal. So probably nice to have something that makes me look better than what I am. So I'm an elite trader. So why not put the elite trader and the combat dangerous insignia on there? So combat dangerous on the front. On the right, I think we'll scroll down and find the elite insignia. There it is. And again, and then I suppose we've got to think about what we're going to call the ship. So we've got the nameplate pack as well. So as it's white, I think we need to have something that stands out a bit. So currently the default name being Dolphin. I suppose now, what are we going to call it? Hmm. Let's put our dashboard toys on. So there's our Coralist space station. And then in dashboard slot 10, let's put our bobblehead. I didn't think I'd go for these, but um, there was a sale on in the store. So hey, why not? Why not indeed? So this is what we got so far. That's our dolphin. Hmm. Well, there's a bit of a come down some of the combat ships, but I suppose, what are you going to do? They're built for passenger missions, and uh, let's give them a try. So let's name the ship. Now, I've got a theme running at the moment. If you remember, my cutter is called the Badger's Lust. This can be the Badger's Paw. And there you go. So, that's the naming and the outfitting of the Badger's Paw. We'll have to do some, some module management to reduce that down, I think, um, underneath the power range. But a fine looking ship, nonetheless. So let's get away from this station and get some space trials in. We're going to test the weapons out, we'll test the engines out. So with um, full pips to the engines, let's go. So with that, we're going about 289, 290. Let's try some weapons. So let's equalize the power, two pips each, and let leash the green death for my add-on pack. Quite a good drain rate, you know, for those beam lasers. We're not gonna get in too much combat. And now for the engines. Hear that wicked squeal as well from the Dolphin's engines. That's absolutely fantastic. So we're up to 381. Yeah, about 400, 401. I think I saw it, it peak to with multiple boosts. Quite a good response from such a small ship and quite a you know inexpensive ship as well when you class how much the other liners cost so this being the entry level a good response all round so let's take it back into the station pack it up and get back to my passenger missions now in quince but i like the dolphin the dolphin everything it stands for low cost effective passenger missions i think yeah it's a it's a tick in a box all round there really um, a nice little nimble ship not going to win any combat missions with this. But then again, that's not what it's for. That's not what its remit is. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been a quick review of the Dolphin uh, that I've classed as A-rated. Check back for more videos in the series. It was only a quick review, I know. But I'll see you soon.